Hey what's up guys Manish here. So in this video I'm going to show you guys on how to dual boot both the Android and the Ubuntu OS on your Nexus devices. So if you want to switch to the uh, Ubuntu OS you just go to this app over here and hit on the reboot to Ubuntu button over there. So now let's go ahead and see on how to get this thing working. Alright, so the very first thing that you need to do here is you'll have to get your phone rooted. So go to settings and then scroll all the way down to about phone and you know just hit on the bill number seven to eight times until it, until it says you are enough a developer. Then just go back and hit on the developer options over there. Check mark the USB debugging options. Hit on OK. And the next thing that you need to do here is you'll have to connect your Nexus device onto your computer. So now let me just go ahead and connect my device onto my computer. So once you've you know, connected your device onto your computer, the next thing that you need to do here is you'll have to go to start and type in device manager. Click on the device manager icon over there and you should be prompted with this particular window over here. Now under the other device section, you'll find the Nexus 4 icon. Just right click on it and hit on the update driver software and hit on browse my computer. Let me pick from a list, hit on next, have a disk and hit on the browse button over there. So now what you need to do over here is that you'll have to navigate to this uh, downloaded folder over here. The link to this particular folder will be there in the description below. So just go ahead and download it. So go to the uh, downloaded folder, go to USB driver and choose the Android Win USB. Hit on open and then choose OK. Click on next and hit on the yes button over there. So that should basically, you know, install the uh, driver onto your computer so now under the android phone you'll find that we have got the android adb interface installed all right guys so once you've got the driver installed go to the dual boot folder and hit on the Control shift on your keyboard and right click on your mouse hit on the open command window option over there and you'll be prompted with this uh, command window over here now basically you're in this particular folder in this command prompt window So now let's go ahead and check if our device is actually connected to a computer by tapping in ADB devices and then hit on enter and then you'll be presented with your device ID with a message that says offline. Now in order to make it online uh, on your Nexus device you'll be prompted with whether you want to enable the USB debugging. Just hit on the OK uh, option over there. And then when you type in ADB devices again the offline message is no longer there. Alright, so once you're done with that, let's go ahead and restart our phone or our Nexus device into the bootloader menu by tapping in ADB Reboot Bootloader. And then on your Nexus device, uh, you know, you'll be presented with this particular screen over here. This is the bootloader menu. And down at the bottom, it says that the lock state has been locked. Now, in order to unlock it, let's go ahead and type in a command that says fastboot OEM unlock. And then hit on enter. And then it will ask you whether you want to unlock the bootloader with the two options that says yes or no. Use the volume up button to choose yes. And hit on the power button to confirm it. Now at the bottom it will say that the lock state has been unlocked. So once you're done with that, let's go ahead and restart our phone. Use the volume up button to choose power off and hit on the power button to confirm it. So now I can just go ahead and power on my Nexus device. So now let me just go ahead and fast forward all of the steps. Uh, it will basically take you around 5 to 10 minutes for the whole process to get completed. Alright, so let me just uh, choose the location as United States. I'll skip all of the steps as of now. Let me just get this thing in focus. All righty. All right, guys. So once your phone has been completely, uh, you know, restarted, go to your app drawer and then go to settings and then go to settings. 
scroll all the way down to about phone and do the uh, hit the bill number uh, seven to eight times until it says you are not a developer go back and hit on the developer options over there check mark the USB debugging and hit on the uh, OK option over there and then just uh, make sure you have got your Nexus device connected onto your computer alright so now let me just go ahead and check if our device is actually connected by tapping in ADB devices as you can see we have got an offline message over there and on your Nexus device you'll be presented with this particular option that is whether you want to enable the USB debugging so just hit on OK and now when you type in ADB devices again the offline message will not be there anymore Alright, so the next thing that you'll need to do here is you'll have to copy this particular uh, folders over here that is the Super SU and the Ubuntu installer. So just go ahead and copy those two files and go to your Nexus for internal storage and paste it over here. So once you've got these two uh, files pasted, uh, go to your command prompt. So once you've got the command prompt turned on, the next thing that we're going to do here is we're going to flash a custom recovery. So in order to do that, we're going to uh, take our Nexus device into the bootloader menu. And that is done by tapping in ADB reboot bootloader and hit on the enter button to confirm it. And, uh, you know, on your Nexus device now, you should be uh, presented with this particular screen over here. This is the bootloader menu. And once you're in the screen, we're going to flash a custom recovery that is done by typing in fastboot flash space recovery space recovery hyphen and hit on the tab button to autofill the file name. So now the file which I'm referring to over here is the uh, file which is in this particular folder over here. So once you've typed in this particular command, hit on the enter button to confirm it. And uh, you know, that should basically write the, uh, or flash the custom recovery on your Nexus device. So once it's flashed, use the volume up button to uh, choose the recovery mode and hit on the power button to confirm it. And once you're in the custom recovery, choose the second option over there that is install zip from SD card. Use the, uh, you know, the volume down button to uh, navigate there and hit on the power button to confirm it. Then choose the first option that says choose zip from SD card, zero slash, and then scroll all the way down or navigate all the way down to the super SU file. And then what you're going to do here is you're going to uh, hit the power button to confirm it. And then choose yes and hit on the power button again to confirm it. So now it's basically rooting your phone or your Nexus device. So once you're done with that, go back and then choose the second option over there. That is, uh, that is the install zip from SD card. Choose zip from SD card again, zero slash. And then navigate all the way down to the Ubuntu installer file. Hit on the power button to confirm it. And then, you know, choose um, uh, yes, and hit on the power button again. So now it's basically writing the Ubuntu dual boot app on your Nexus device. So once you're done with that, go back and reboot system now. And then choose uh, no. So now it will basically restart or reboot your Nexus device. So once your Nexus device has been rebooted, go to your app drawer, hit on the Ubuntu dual boot app and hit on the install Ubuntu, choose channel to install and then basically hit on the install button over there. So now what it is doing is that it is basically downloading the Ubuntu image onto your Nexus device. Now the speed at which it downloads or the rate at which it downloads really depends upon your internet speed. So wait for it to get uh, you know completely downloaded. So I'll see you guys once the download has been completed. Alright, the download has been completed and now let's go ahead and hit on the uh, resume install. It will ask you whether you want to grant it a super user permission. Hit on the grant button over there. And now what it is doing is that it is basically writing the Ubuntu uh, you know, operating system onto your Nexus device. So wait till the whole process gets completed.
So once you're done with the installation, you'll be presented with the screen over here. Down at the bottom, it says that reboot to Ubuntu. So just hit on that button over there and your Nexus device will be, uh, you know, will be switched to the Ubuntu OS. Now, uh, mind you guys, if you want to, you know, switch to the Ubuntu OS anytime, you just go to the app drawer and go to the Ubuntu dual boot app and hit on the, uh, you know, reboot to Ubuntu button over there. So now as you can see over here, we have got the full-fledged Ubuntu OS running on our Nexus device. So uh, that's it guys. Hope you guys have really liked this video. And if you have got any questions regarding this video, just post it down below in the comment sections or go to my Facebook fan page and post your questions over there. So that's it for now and I'll see you guys in the next one.